Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this 220D Sport Grand Tourer. This car is finished off in black sapphire metallic and is a January 2018 registered vehicle. Some fantastic features on the 2 Series Grand Tourers, which I will run through with you now and some of the options also selected for this particular vehicle. Moving around to the side, we've got the 17 inch star spoke alloy wheel. This being the sport variant, we've got some lovely colour coded trim which runs throughout, and certainly with this black metallic black paint finish, a very sleek look. We've got the sun protection glass on the rear, so obviously adds an element of privacy for the rear of the vehicle, but there is a UV element there as well, so it does help keep the cabin a bit cooler on the hot days. And probably more importantly, there's a UV element to help protect the rear passengers from some of those harmful UV rays. Into the boot, power tailgate, a standard on the 2 Series Grand Tourer. That can be opened by the key. There's also a button underneath the roundel badge and a button by the driver's door. Fantastically versatile as well. I'll move this load cover back. We've also got the 7-seater option on this generation of car, the 2 Series Grand Tourer, so the seats pop up out of there. Handily the load cover fits into a slot underneath here, so it actually clips in out the way. So if you do need either extra boot capacity with dropping those rear seats down, or you are going to obviously lift up the rear seven seater variant, you can just tuck that load cover underneath that storage, that sort of false floor section there, and then these two rear seats pop up. I'll show you those in a bit more detail when we go into the back of the car. For now, all I'm just gonna do is I clip the load cover and rest it down there. As I've only got one hand free, I'm not gonna try and maneuver and get that stowed away. So we move to the rear of the car. In the sport, we've got this anthracite and it's called grey race sort of cloth. So, the race is just the description for this finish throughout the sort of center step. And we've got this lovely grey contrast stitching as well. It's a lovely detail running through. We've got that high gloss black finish as well. You can see it on the door card with that orange stripe, that ambient lighting across the door card at the top there. And to the rear, the rear passengers also benefit from some ventilation controls there. And there's a 12 volt socket for charging mobile devices. So, to get into the rear, just a handle here which just pulls forward. And then that seat slides forward like so. There's a lever here which lifts up. And then we can lift up that rear seat. I'm going to do that very shortly. I'm just going to move that. Center folding. And there we go. So let me spin the camera around. So that emphasize and grey cloth finish also finishes with the third row seating as well. So you can have it very configurable, so you can have just one extra seat at the back, so you still got a bit extra luggage space there on the left hand side. And once you slide back. Nice thing as well with this rear bench seat, which I'll show you in a bit second once I've maneuvered these seats in place. As mentioned, this bench seat is slidable, so you can actually slide these forward. You've got this section here, this 40%, and then the 60% on the left hand side, that can be slid as well. So if you need a bit of extra rear space, you can slide these seats forward to do so. Little handles here as well, so you can actually adjust the backrest, so multiple adjustment on there. It's a very versatile with this seven seat configuration. Moving into the front, one of the options, we've got the external, exterior folding mirrors. That can either be operated with that button there or via the key itself. This being the sport variant of the Grand Tour, we do have these lovely sport seats. So lots of great side bolster support here, which is adjustable by an, an airbag system in those. And some, some nice details as well running through the two front seats. Stepping into the car. I 
So we've got the two dials there, the spin on to the left, the left count to the right, and that sort of LCD display in the middle as well to give you a bit of driving information, trip information. Moving to the center screen, we've got the BMW ID6 system. This is a touchscreen navigation. You've got these six tiles here, which are called live tiles. They do change. The, you know, the navigation is always working behind the scenes, even though you might not be actually on the navigation like for now. And these are configurable as well, so you can specify different bits of information, make that relevant for you. And obviously, you can zoom into bigger bits of display. Fantastic navigation system, full real time traffic information is available. The forms for digital radio, AM and FM, CD player, Bluetooth connectivity for obviously music and phone calls. Moving down, we've got the audio controls here with the CD player, so the favorite buttons. Dual zone climate control in the front there. Moving down to the automatic gearbox. The 20D, so the 2 litre diesel, four cylinder, made into the automatic gearbox. Full manual option as well, so you can take manual control, either using the gear lever to select your gear or the paddles behind the steering wheel. Also, the tried and tested iDrive dial there. Like I said, you have got touchscreen, iDrive dial, and there is voice activation as well for this system. And that gloss black finisher, also finishing this trim piece and this nice pearl chrome finish as well, just highlights the details. Also around the iDrive dial. On the left we've got cruise control, so the speed limit control. And the right we've got the steering wheel audio options, so volume, voice activation, answering phone calls, and media adjustment there as well. And here you can see the paddles there for the automatic gearbox. This, as I mentioned, is a January 2018 registered vehicle. It's got 26,106 miles on it. Now, recently been part exchange of ourselves and is a two owner car. Nice options on this two Grand Tourer. This is a very versatile car. I've had a couple of demonstrated myself and a very, very practical vehicle. Loads of space and fantastic to drive. If there's anything more we can do, any more information you need, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.